How to track your statements and bill payments with Smartsheet. Let's take a look at my screen straight away, get right down to business. I've made reference to this in my article there on uh, five accounting tips for online or digital marketing professionals. And I want to show you exactly what I was talking about here, where I talk about how Smartsheet can be used to keep track of this stuff. Remember, in the bigger picture, this is in the context of using a product like Bilbies as the repository for all of your bills and receipts. But we're going to want to know or know that we have a way to deal with some of those outliers, some of those things that don't get emailed to us, or even the things that we need to log in and grab. And there are apps like HubDoc that can be used for that. But even if you're using HubDoc, in order for Bilbies to become the complete repository, you'll still need to get those bills and forward them into Bilbies. So let's take a look at how you can track things to make sure that you never miss a single bill or payment. Over here on my screen, I've got a very light example of something that I actually set up for every single client that we take on for business management purposes. And this is something that was built out of need. They say necessity is the mother of invention. And that's exactly what happened here. Uh, when I first started taking on some of these clients, and in, during the onboarding process, balls were getting dropped. I was paying their bills late because I hadn't yet had a chance to wrap my head around every bill that had to be paid and when. So I said, I need a system for this. And I built a system, and I haven't had that problem since. And this is the system. You already saw in a prior video, uh, if you've been watching all of these videos that I created with this resource on five accounting tips for online or digital marketing professionals, um, you saw how you can set up date-based alerts. And that's exactly what we're going to leverage here uh, in a specific context. So I, I go by the next statement date, right? I don't really care about the due date. I want to know when the statement cuts because that's when I have ample time to act and react and make sure there's enough money and schedule the bill for payment. Or if what I'm doing this for is just to remember to say log into Verizon Wireless and forward the invoice to Bilby's, this is my reminder to do just that. And I mentioned in the write-up, for the things that are on auto pay, um, we can first of all assign that here. So let's say LADWP is on auto pay and so is Verizon. Wells Fargo doesn't really apply, but you know it's also a good idea to get a reminder of when your bank statements come out because that might be a good reminder that you can use to just review everything or make sure that those automated reports you're getting from QuickBooks Online, which include a detail from the check register, make sure that it, if not any other time, that, that when you get this reminder, you are reminded to then review at least that report. And bottom line, I want that reminder every month, like, hey, the month just closed. Time to review the bank statement. And this also triggers some other things in my mind that I'm just always aware of that go on right at the first of the month, such as my mortgage payments due, things like that, that don't tie directly into this. It's just good to get these reminders. And as I've mentioned previously, these are throwaway email reminders that once I know I've dealt with them, I just delete them. But I'll show you again how to set up the alerts here. We're going to go to reminders, new reminder, and we're going to send everyone in this case, not just me or not. There's no assigned to here, but we're going to send everyone an email reminder um, on not the due date, but on the statement date, on the next statement date. And then, by the way, what happens is when I get that reminder and I click over, and once I've confirmed that I've grabbed my Verizon wireless bill, what I'll do is I'll update this and say, okay, now, so the next due date's going to be a month later, let's just say June 20th, and it's not always going to be exact. But notice it's lit up in red and yellow because my next statement date is before today's date. So when I then, once I've resolved this and I'm, I'm acknowledging that it's done, I move this forward to May 27th and notice that formatting goes away. The way that I do that is using conditional formatting, which is this little guy right down here. And I created a rule among others. So next statement date, if it's in the past, right? then apply the format. So again, very straight, straightforward stuff. And I know that you as my uh, online digital uh, marketing professionals are all pretty tech savvy. So I have a feeling most of you when you get in here are going to know how to you know, get in here and get these kind of things set up. But as always, if I can help, if I can shorten the learning curve, if I can save you some time, make the setup process more efficient, then by all means, please reach out to me, Seth at NerdEnterprises.com or 866-945-8070. As always, I hope you had some fun here and learned something along the way. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.